नमस्कार माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट निमोनिक्स यू नो निमोनिक्स इज अ लर्निंग एड विच हेल्प्स अस टू रिमेंबर द इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन स्पेशली वेल वी आर राइटिंग एग्जाम देन इट डज वॉन्डर्स वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस एनी पॉइंट इट हेल्प्स अस टू रिटेन ऑल द पॉइंट्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम यूजफुल निमोनिक्स इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ कंप्लीट डेंचर सो लेट्स बिगिन so the first mnemonic is for the house classification on mental attitude it is an important topic it is asked in theory exam as well as in the viva chair side viva also so the mnemonic is pix pix is a word that we often use as a short form for pictures okay so the four types of patients depending on the mental attitude are philosophical indifferent c for critical s for skeptical If you want to go to the details of the classification I have shared the video in the description. The second mnemonic is for the impression techniques and the objectives for impression making. Okay this is a very important topic asked as long question as short note in theory exam it is asked in preclinical prosthetic viva often asked in chair side viva for the final years. so for the impression techniques the mnemonic is mms we all know mms is the short form for multimedia messaging service now the impression techniques are m for muco compressive technique second m for muco static technique third is s for the selective pressure technique objectives of impression making in this the mnemonic is press okay p for preservation of remaining structures r for retention e for aesthetics s for stability and the second s for support okay if you want to go to the details of the impression techniques and the objectives i have also shared the video in the description now the third mnemonic it is for the muscles which are attached in the buccal frenum three muscles are attached in the buccal frenum and it is often asked in the preclinical prosthetic final exam practical exam and also in the final year chair side or the practical exam so the three muscles can be remembered by the mnemonic bowl b for buccinator it pulls the frenum in the backward direction b for buccinator and b for backward o for orbicularis oris it pulls the frenum in the forward direction okay l for levator anguli oris which pulls it superiorly the next mnemonic is for the muscles of modulus very very important there are eight muscles which are attached which form the modulus and students often find it difficult to remember all the eight muscles they often get confused so here is a mnemonic for you lord buddha quotes on quality of zindagi so which are the words that we will be using i have highlighted them lord l for levator anguli oris o for orbicularis oris r for rosorius and d for depressor anguli oris b for buddha b for buccinator q for quadratus lebi superioris another q for quadratus lebi inferioris and z for zygomaticus major so these make the eight muscles of modulus the next mnemonic is for the materials which are used to fabricate a special tray this is also a favorite question especially in the pre clinical prosthetic viva so here are, here is the mnemonic shiva okay s for shellac h for heat cure resin i for impression compound v for visible light cure acrylic resin a for auto polymerizing acrylic resin so these are the five materials which are used to fabricate special tray here is the sixth mnemonic very important it is used for the posterior palatal seal the techniques or the methods which are used to mark the posterior palatal seal or the postam area it is often asked in the theory and it is often asked in the viva also so we can remember the four techniques by the mnemonic cafe okay 
C for conventional technique, A for arbitrary scrapping of the master cast, F for fluid wax technique, and E for extended palatal techniques. So these are the four techniques used to mark the four stamp. So here is the next mnemonic that will help you to remember the methods which are used to measure the vertical dimension at rest, that is VDR. It is very important. It comes as a long question in the theory exam and it is often asked in the chair side viva also. So we can remember by the word fast food. Okay, there are five methods fast and F for the food. F facial measurements after swallowing and relaxing. A anatomical landmarks measurement. S speech. T for tactile sense and patient's comfort. F for the facial expression. So these are the five methods that you can remember easily. Now the next or the eighth mnemonic is used to remember the methods used to measure the vertical dimension at occlusion that is video. As the number of methods are more so we will be uh, learning it by a combination of some mnemonics. Okay, it's not compulsory to remember all the mnemonics. Only you need mnemonics when you are forgetting something, when you are not able to remember the information. Okay, so these methods are divided into two categories, the mechanical and the physiological. If we talk about the mechanical, it can be remembered by the mnemonic RPD. Very easy. R for ridge relations, P for pre-extraction records, and D for denture measurements, the former denture measurements. Okay, now pre-extraction records are many. So if you are uh, just having a problem in remembering all the methods of pre-extraction records, you can remember it by the word RASP file. Okay, RASP file, radiographs, articulated cast, cell hertz, photographs, and the face measurements. Now coming to the physiological methods. It can be remembered by a word mnemonic that is pustak with the K silent and four times P. So we will be using P for the four times and K will not be used. Pustak with four times P and K silent. P for PowerPoint. Another P physiological rest position. Third P for phonetics. Fourth P for patient's perception of comfort. So these are the four P's. U, using wax occlusal rims. S, swallowing threshold. T, for tactile sense and perception. A, for aesthetics. So here is the mnemonic for remembering the methods to record the VDO. The next mnemonic will help you to remember all the methods of recording centric relation. Okay, this is also often asked as a long question and sometimes you get so puzzled or uh, anxious that you often forget one of the methods. Okay, so here is a mnemonic poor fellow growing to rich. P for poor, P for physiological, F functional methods, G graphic methods and R radiographic methods. So these are the four methods. Physiological methods, though it is easy. The three methods can be remembered by the word iPhone, I interocclusal, P pressure and third pressure less methods. Okay, you can remember it without a mnemonic also. Functional methods, no problem, needle house N and P for Patterson, two methods. Graphic, that is IE, intraoral and extraoral. And the fourth is the radiographic methods. Here is the last mnemonic that will help you to remember the classifications of articulator. You know, it comes as a long question and often we forget to mention one of the classification. There are four classifications of articulator that you need to write if it comes as a long question. It can be remembered by the word sati. Okay, sati. S with the, uh, the classification which is based on how it simulates the jaw relation. And based on this, the articulators are classified into four classes, class one, two, three, and four. The second classification is based on the adjustability of the articulator. Based on this, the articulators can be non-adjustable, semi-adjustable, and the fully adjustable. 
T based on the theories of occlusion. It can be remembered by the word BSC. Three theories, Bonneville's, spherical and conical theory. The fourth classification is based on the interocclusal records, i.e. it can be intraoral or it can be graphic records. If you want to go to the details of the classification, I have shared the video in the video link in the description. I'm sure these mnemonics will really help you to remember all the points and score well in exams. If you find any topic in complete danger, for that you want to have a mnemonic, please leave in the comments box. Okay, do not forget to share and like the video. Wish you success today and always.